Hey, what's up, everyone? We're going to be continuing some of the work we did last night where we were cleaning up some components and going over the rich text converter function that we have, or component, rather. So we'll continue some of that work. Um, we can pull up our to-do list. But yeah, so we'll be working first on adding a relationship converter. So say we have like some specific relationship that we want to use in the rich text. We need to tell payload or, or I guess the front end how we want to render that. So we'll do that first and then we're going to clean up our components a little bit as well. Similar to what we were doing yesterday, trying to set up best practices um, so it's easier to maintain this project. Again, it was from an older project that I had that I've just been, you know, just kind of cleaning up and making into a new boilerplate um, or... I guess starter pack, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I think that's a good place to start if we go with the relationship converter. And so first let's uh let's go to our admin panel and add something worth rendering, um, which was not very good English, but you know what I'm trying to say. So let's do Oh, we gotta log in first. Yeah. Again, one day I'll remember this. I think I said that last night too. So we'll go to our posts. No, we need to go to our page. So page, we'll go to the home page and we're just gonna edit the um, content with, nope, the content no media block. And we're gonna add a relationship, I believe. Yep, so we got a relationship and we can use any of these. So we'll do a user and then we'll just use any of these users really hmm we'll use this one so then we have a user relationship that shows up there and so then when we save this it's not going to do a whole lot on the front end if i refresh i get unknown node and that's because we haven't told our rich text serializer what we want this to be yet so that's what we're going to set up now so in our converters, we'll create a new TSX file that we'll call uh, relationship converter. And I'm calling this relationship converter instead of just user converter, because we're going to use all of our relationships in this project. So we are going to use um, export const relationship converter. Don't know what that type is, but so we're going to import our serialized relationship node from rich text lexical uh, and then we're going to import our type of user so import type user now is it users so let's just get our payload types i don't remember what this collection is called user oh i forgot the from part all right so our relationship converter is gonna take the JSX converters type just like everything else. And we're gonna take the serialized relationship node. And then we use the relationship option to then we need the node first. So we take the node, which should imply the type arrow function if node relation to. And here's where we get to choose our relation to. And so we could use a switch statement for this as well. Uh, but since I'm only going to be working with one relationship right now, I think it's fine that we do it with an if else statement. If relation to is users, we'll take our users and put it into a constant of node value value as user. And so now we should be able to, we should really just make this user to be better there. All right, so now we can return something. So just to test out what we're seeing, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna log user. Ah, that's a bad idea. I don't know what that's gonna show. Um, so we're gonna do a div and then we'll just say um, like an H3 or something. And we can say user name and then paragraph. We should be able to do something like um, user email. So it's exported from here. Then we go up to our index and then we just add relationship converter. I don't know why it keeps doing these long imports because it's in the same folder, I think. There we go. Get rid of all of this as well. I like this to be clean up here. The import's gotta be clean. All right, so relationship converter has been imported and now we see, well, 
kind of. So the email shows up and then the header is there as well. So now if we wanted to style that, we could import classes. Since I'm not really being too serious with this one, we won't do any classes like that, but just so we can read this, we'll do color, do an inline style, color set to white, and then that should be now readable there. So that's not really a good use case for the user. I mean, I guess what we could do is if we just wanted to include the author of a post inside the rich text field, you could do that and then have the relationship field be populated like this. So it's more useful for things like, uh, we already did the internal link, but uh, I have, for an example, a, an address uh, relationship that I have for a production product production project um, that I use to show like the the address of the business in the rich text field. So it shows up and I can style it however I want. And then I can change the address as well, either through the relationship or if I need to change, like if the meeting address has changed, it can go to a different one that way. So relationship field, or sorry, relationship converter, very useful, highly recommend using. And then that's how you do it. It's super easy. As soon as you get one converter built, all of them are super easy. So um, definitely mess around with it. I mean, it's a little intimidating to get into it, but after a little while, it's just, it becomes second nature. And that's true, I think, of all coding, honestly. Um, so yeah, we have a relationship converter. If we wanted to do else if, what else do we have relation to? Definitely not relationships. Um, got addresses, pages, media, categories, banners. Eh, there's not really anything that I want to add. All right, so we'll stick with that. And uh, that is just about it for the relationship converters. 